everybody i wanted to go ahead and make a video for all of you who are brand new to the game whether it's that you picked it up for christmas or that you're just starting to get the game later on or whatnot i've been noticing that on reddit and on other forums there's been a ton of people that have been asking a lot of questions for where to start with the game and looking back at all of the other material from before i noticed that a lot of stuff was from when the game first got released but i didn't like how a lot of people kind of talked about how to do combos i feel that there were certain points that were skipped over and the way that you kind of comprehend things that were happening might have been a bit confusing for some people like myself um it was something that i think could be approved improved upon and i kind of wanted to t take a shot at that myself i'm already stuttering you can tell this is going to be a great video now but um so i want to make this for you if you're a new player if you're wanting to maybe try to understand other points in the game i'm going to put out other tutorials to follow up with this one um of course, please give me feedback for the video. I'm saying this early on just in case you cut out or you couldn't stand something so that you can please leave me a comment down below uh, and just let me know things that you felt were terrible or that you didn't enjoy or that you didn't understand. Now, I am going to not go over everything immediately. This is more going to be how you can start off with your reverse combo, how you can get to the most optimal state without overcomplicating things. But I will get into that and what I mean in just a second for stuff. So just bear with me. This video will be a little bit long. I had actually recorded this video entirely and it was almost an hour long. Uh, I felt that I was repeating myself and I got way off track. And so I'm re-recording this video. So hopefully I can keep this to 30 minutes or less. If I can do it in 20, then I'm really, really going to try to do that. Editing is going to be kept to a minimal. There's not going to be a lot of stuff on the screen. I will put a lot of timestamps down below in terms of what I'm talking about. Um, but overall, it's going to be more focused on like your very, very first combo and then understanding how certain moves affect characters as well. So in terms of where to start, right? So go through the tutorial. Tutorials over here. In practice, go through all of these tutorials. This is going to help you get familiar with all of the mechanics of the game, okay? So these do an okay job just in terms of kind of throwing a lot of stuff at you and saying, hey, these are all the things that you can do. Now... You're not going to totally understand everything, and that's fine. Now, important thing is that you stick with the game. You give yourself time. You're going to want to be very, very patient with yourself if this is your first fighting game. This first, first one that I've ever played, and for me to get an okay comprehension of what I was doing, it probably took me like two months, okay? And so two months is me playing a good amount every day or at least multiple times per week. So you have to be patient with yourself. Things will come to you in time, but just be patient, okay? Um, you will get your ass kicked a lot, considering that you're going to be playing people online extremely soon. So be, be prepared for that. Please be prepared for that. If you're coming from like a shooter, if you're coming from anything else, sometimes you can kind of do okay. But if you're playing against somebody that's knowledgeable and actually knows what the hell they're doing, you're probably going to get your ass like destroyed. That's okay, all right? Just be patient. It's fine. So run through the tutorials. After that, if you mess with combo challenges, I would say don't beat yourself up for if you can't finish something. I struggled a lot with, I believe, I know for sure Piccolo for the inputs and for, I want to say hit. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I can do simple combos and simple stuff because it's all on the screen for me and I know what to do in order. Fighting games have a very particular window for you to do moves in. And you also have to know certain heights for characters to connect certain combos and whatnot. So if you feel that something is not right and that you're doing it right, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're wrong. That you are 99.9999% of the time, you're doing it wrong. And whatever happened is you need to fit it in some way. So as mentioned, be patient with yourself. You can do combo challenges. If you get stuck, just stop. Just move on to something else, okay? Don't get stuck on there for hours and then you end up not being able to do it and then you get frustrated with yourself and whatnot. That will happen. When you come back, you will destroy the combo challenges, okay? All right, so let's kind of get into this. <sighs> so what we're going to mostly focus on is how certain moves impact characters and how you can use that in your favor for combos and why you want to do that, okay? Now, there is probably the most popular video for how to extend combos by Matt's Million, dude. Um, I think that it's a fair explanation for things, but I want to kind of expand on that a bit. Um, 
and I think you'll understand why if you compare what my video is going to be for his. So it's not to say that my video is going to be better than his, his video is still extremely good and whatnot. Um, I would say to use this in addition to that, or hopefully what my goal would be is to um, encompass everything that he's saying, but then just go on, go even further beyond for that. Um, so hopefully being almost a year later and coming up with the, my very first combo or tutorial, I guess, um, this will help out you it's been on my screen. All right, so before we kind of jump too far ahead, I'll keep this part very, very short and I'll do this in another video. You want to mostly stick with Saiyans in terms of keeping combos similar. Pretty much everybody on the other team, which would be Cell Frieza and Kid Buu, won't function in the same way that I'm going to show you the combo that's going to work for everybody that I, I selected, okay? Um, and the reason for that being that just the way that they were designed, the way that the moves and everything were put in uh, for how characters are supposed to work, is just the way it is. Um, so staying with Saiyans, there's some exceptions to that. You can pick people like uh, Super Saiyan Goku, you pick Adult Gohan, you can pick Team Gohan, you can pick Super Saiyan Vegeta, you can pick Tien, you can pick Trunks, um, and there's a few others, but, oh, I'm sorry, Goku Block, because he's pretty much the exact same thing as regular Goku with with special move differences. Um, so I would strongly suggest you that you stick with the characters that I mentioned. Um, this will be one of the few times that I actually put this on the video, so let me make a note so I can actually put that on there. So we're not gonna be hardcore focused on team building just yet. We want you to get the basics of the game and understand what is happening, okay? All right, let's get into it. All right, so to explain more in terms of the combos, and how those work exactly. So in anime fighters, with the exception of very small things, which I will go over, is that you can pretty much move from your light attack into a medium attack, into a heavy attack, and then you can go into a special move. So I'll demonstrate that really quickly. And I don't think I want to expand too much more on that since I, I believe that's pretty straightforward. These are parts that I got caught up on when I first recorded the video. So we'll go, Light, medium, heavy, and then you'll notice that we can cancel into a key attack. So you can throw out multiple key attacks depending on your character. Some people throw out a single one. Some people like Goku. If you, oops, if you hold it down, then you can throw out multiples. So to kind of expand upon what you can do, so you can do two attacks of the same type back to back as long as they progress forward. So as mentioned, that's light into medium into heavy. Now the heavy though is a launcher. So kind of already backtracking on what I said. But so the launcher actually pushes people further away. So you can get that with a regular heavy attack or you get that with a two H. So the two is like a direction pad um, in terms of on like your computer. So let me see if I can do this right in terms of pointing. So this would be one, would be two, this would be three. And then you jump to the middle row. So then this would be four. Five is like right in the middle, okay? So five is in the middle. And then six is going to be over here, which is going to be to the right, based off of how the video is looking. Then this would be seven, which is going to be in the left upper corner. Eight is straight up. And then nine is going to be in the right corner, okay? So. The launcher options that you have is just a five because five is neutral, meaning that you're not actually pushing anything under the direction. And then you just hit heavy, that's a launcher, okay? So another thing that you can do, as mentioned, you can do a two H, which is down, and then you hit heavy, launch them straight up. So how do these kind of play into what you can do? Well, you can cancel into stuff, um, as mentioned, light, medium, heavy. But there's different states for knocking people down, okay? So you have your auto combo, which you learned, which is just mashing light attack consistently. So I'm just going to mash light. You notice we get the character knocked down. It's a full combo. You end up doing a lot of stuff. Um, but your character, or I'm sorry, the opponent ends up just bouncing. So keep an eye on cell, okay? And we will easily demonstrate this for the difference. So it goes, boop, pops up. There's no dust, there's no like skid, there's no anything. I'll show it one more time. 
It bounces off. Now, you can do that with a medium too, and then you'll go into a super. Now, supers are not free. Supers require one meter, and that should have been explained in the, in the tutorial, but I'll still show that. So keep an eye, I believe, based off of how I'm pointing, it should be right here. And if you're the opponent, then it'll be right there or how it's going to drain. So if you do medium, yeah, it drops to zero over here as you're using a special. Special moves, you can view them in the list. Um, you can see that the super Kamehameha and whatnot. So the one that we actually did by hitting medium is the super Kamehameha, the one that says RB, quarter circle forward RB. So that is the one that we ended up doing, okay? And the warp Kamehameha, which is with the trigger, it's like this. So the one that we ended up doing, as mentioned with the bumper, is that one. So all of these things can actually be done manually, meaning that you can actually do the full inputs rather than just hitting the, that same button. So I will show you that combo, the one where he goes boop, boop, and then tips in the air. So that is standing, and then you drop him down. So you see how it's the quarter circle motion for that move? But you can manually do that move anytime that you want to, considering that you actually put the input in. Um, but so, let's expand more on this, okay? In terms of how we're going to get into our first combo. So what we want to get you to, we want to get you to the point where you can actually get a character in a sliding not down state. So there's three different states. Or, I'm sorry, there's two different not down states, I suppose. Um, so there's the one where there is no not down, which that's why I'm not considering it as a not down state, uh, where you tech instantly. And then there's a sliding not down, and then there's a hard not down. So the sliding not down, the opponent will slide, and they actually have the option of if they want to recover or not. So let us do, um, how can I do this? I need delayed stand abilities. Can I set that to 30? Perfect. So, you see how Cell took a long time to kind of stand up there, right? Um, so I'm sorry, I'm getting a little off here. Cell ends up falling, and then he kind of stays on the ground, right? So we can shorten that to off, and then when we actually launch him, he'll slide, but he'll, he's going to stand back up pretty much right away. After he slides. And he pops up. So there is definitely a difference between that and the longer one. So he slides, and now he's up. So with the sliding not down, what I'm getting at here is that you're, you, you can control when you get up from that within a certain time. You can't stay on the ground forever, but you can just wait if you want to mix up your, your wake up options. With a level three, which is a hard not down, that doesn't happen. So the hard not downs, I believe, They've changed it now from when the game first started. Only occur with level threes. So you have to do move like this, which is cost three bars. And they're gonna do, land. There's no slide, but they just kind of bounce a little bit. And then they stand up. The rate at which they stand up will vary depending on what special, like what level three you use, but they cannot control their get up for that. So those are Moves that typically you'll want to use if you have enough meter for it. But this is a little bit further on. I'm kind of just mentioning it just to kind of give you an idea for stuff. Um, the reason that you want to do hard knockdowns for that is that you get mitts up so that you can make the opponent guess, am I going to attack you high? Am I going to attack you just a regular attack? Am I going to attack you low? Am I not going to attack you and I'm going to go for a dragon rush, which is basically the same thing as a grab in this game. So there's benefits of that. But for our first combo, we want to get you to the point where you get a sliding knot down so that you can do a super if you want to get a super. But if not, it's okay. You still get options in the same way that you can get it with a level three, but without spending any bar whatsoever, okay? All right. So let's get into light medium heavies, as mentioned. So these can all cancel into one another. Now, to start off, just extremely simple. You can do two lights, two mediums into a heavy, and then you super dash to them, okay? So let's do that. So the super dash can be done with the trigger by default, okay? You can just do that. And on PlayStation 4, DualShock 4, that all applies, same thing. 
or you can hit your heavy again to follow them. And you see how that follows him still? Now mind you, you have to hit the heavy in order to get that super dash in, okay? All right. So let us continue onward for this. So let's do it just on the ground, okay? Light, medium, heavy into that. And then after the launcher happens and after we fly to him, we can just hit the light. Oops, that is the A. To continue the combo and finish it. So remember, two, two, one, follow, and then you go. So light, light, medium, medium, heavy, follow, and then you're going to hit light, light, light again. And then you get the knot down. It's a full combo. It's a little bit more than what you typically get because that was what 2845. This is your full. So you got 200 more damage in. That's decent. Now you'll notice that at the end of that combo, we end up not getting a slide and knot down. They just end up popping up, right? So even if we do a full extension with this, which I'm going to do a bit more than you're probably going to understand to start, but it's just to kind of explain. So even after doing a full extension, you just don't get that sliding knot down. It just doesn't happen, right? So ways that we can get that sliding knot down is with the 2H. 2H, which is down, and you can see that for the inputs on the left, and then heavy. Too heavy gives you that. It launches them up in the air. Now, if you do a 2H into just a regular old heavy, just two inputs, right? So it's that, follow, heavy. Notice that Cell kicks up a dust trail. You can also tell on the bottom right here where Goku is that there is um, damage to the stage. That is because that's in a sliding knot down state. See how all over here, everything's fine in terms of on the ground. So let's do that again. Boom, ground is kind of messed up and there's that slide. Also, an important thing is the audio for that, okay? You wanna keep in mind for the audio for that. To know ah that is a sliding knot down and why is the sliding knot down important because you can actually land and get off a super when you want to now of course there's a window in there where they're actually vulnerable and it's still part of the combo where you can still actually continue that all right so what we want to get to is the point where you can do so Interestingly enough, is that there's kind of quicker sliding knot downs, and that so the, an interesting part is that there's going to be sliding knot downs that actually don't give you a lot of time um, versus knot downs that do give you a lot of time. So how I was showing you, where you just hit them up and hit them straight down, you don't have a lot of time there. So if you notice, Cell, you can't really see too much of him. He kind of pops up still kind of quick, um, and we can't get a super off. Now if we do three attacks there, see how Cell's legs are still up and he was actually sliding further? So if you get off a little bit more of your attacks in the air, you can actually do like the full duration for the sliding knot down. It sounds kind of funny why that would be the case. But yeah, his legs being up mean that you can still like connect something for that. So it's, it's a bit interesting for that. Um, but just keep that in mind that if you're like, hey, I launched him up, launched him down, I can get off the Super Kamehameha, right? Or his legs landed, he actually recovered in time. Um, but if you end up getting off a little bit for a combo here, your legs are still up, Super comes out, full combo. All right, so let's get into what your first, 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 first combo should be, okay? Keep this extremely simple um, so that not to confuse you. So what are the key requirements for what we want, right? We want to have a sliding knockdown and we want to do doubles of our attacks. We want to do light, light, medium, medium, go into that launcher in the air, and then you're going to do light, light, light again, okay? Inputs are pretty simple. I'll put them on the left. I'm resetting my stuff just in terms of um, on the left side so that you can see. So we're going to do... And that's the whole thing. So you do light, light, medium, medium, and then you go into your down heavy, which is the one that launches them up. Now the H and the S is the super dash. So if you do the heavy and this both together, 
That is the same thing as your super dash, and which is the equivalent of you pushing the trigger. Um, except that's the way that it just shows for your inputs, okay? So hopefully that's not too confusing for you. So I'll do it just one more time though. And then once we hit him up in the air, because you actually run into him, then it's three light attacks for your auto combo, which actually finish it. So the three auto attacks in the air are the equivalent of a light, medium, and a heavy um, when you're in the air. So notice that he does the jab, he does the kick, and then he kind of like does the overhead where he slams. So to kind of show that and that you can do that manually, punch, kick, heavy. So you can actually finish that manually on your own. So I'll show you how we've been doing it. Light, 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 and it slams them down. And then you get those knock up for the leads. So notice it was the exact same combo, but the difference was if you look on the inputs on the left here, is that I hit light, medium, heavy instead of just light, light, light. So this will come into play in just a little bit. So, start off with your combo, one final time, light, light, medium, medium, 2H, light, 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 and then you can go into a super. Boom. Pretty good combo, right? Now, as mentioned, you don't need to actually spin meter if you want. You run up to the guy, and then he pops up. Now, the computer is set to pop up as fast as you can. Um, I'm not changing anything, the delayed stand is not on or anything like that. So you can just run up to him, push him towards the corner. If you want to jump up in here, if you want to call in somebody else, you can do that as well. Which that's actually a safe time to call in somebody. If you call them in right after you get a sliding knockdown, which of course you call people in by holding your assist buttons, which are typically set to the triggers here, that is actually safe. So if you are trying to find a way to um, get somebody in without the risk of being swapped back out because they read you and then they end up popping you back in and everything. And that is a safe way to do it, okay? Now that might lose you a little bit, but we can kind of go more in depth in that in a later video. So let's kind of go into other components for things. So 2H pops people up, heavy knots people further away. So I think we, we kind of establish what we want to do. So things to... Uh, as well to realize is that um, moves on the ground can have certain properties. So you can hold down and your light there, well, it's different than your standing light, okay? So they both hit mid, but that's not kind of what we're focused on. So what we're focused more is on our medium. So some characters have lows, which lows should hit the feet out from under the opponent and then kind of set them in this airborne state. So as you see Cell, he's gonna plop up and then hit the ground, but then he's gonna recover. Boop. So what we can do there is we can kind of carry the opponent after we launch them, okay? So I'll demonstrate that a little bit. So see how Cell popped up and we started kind of picking him up more in the air in comparison to before where here. We had to hit him up before we could do that. So what we're wanting to do to kind of extend our combo more than what we had done before is that we're going to want to actually change the order of what we're doing. So we're going to still want to do our two mediums to start, but now instead of just hitting two mediums after the two lights, so medium, medium, light, light, see how the double light gets you the, the lower hit second? Well, you can't actually connect that with something else. Um, what you can actually do in these games is that you can jump cancel. So jump cancel is the act of you jumping after an attack and then you can reset yourself to attack. Um, so I'll kind of demonstrate that, okay? So how I told you, you can't go back to lights. So if you look on the left there, I'm going to go light, light, medium, medium, and then I'm mashing light again. It just doesn't happen, right? So if you jump, you can go back to those moves, okay? And then when you're in the air, some exceptions kind of apply. So you can actually do a light, medium, go back to a light when you're in the air. Um, so I can show you that as well. So we'll do light, light. So if you notice on the left, we did light, light. We did the 2M, which is the knock them down. And we pit them back up with the medium 
uh, the standing medium, and then we jumped up in the air, went light, medium, and light, and those all hit. Those all hit. So let's kind of show you that again. So da da. So we can incorporate all of this into basically what we've done already. We're kind of just switching the order of stuff. Okay. So always remember, low moves to start off should um, cancel. Now, since you can do two mediums, we're just swapping the order instead of high low. We are going low high. So then the rest of the combo can still follow afterwards. So let's do a comparison for everything, okay? That is 2875 for the first one that we learned, okay? Light, light, medium, medium, 2H. Down, down, down. Or I'm sorry, light, light, light to knock him down. 2875. So let's throw in that jump that we learned, okay? And then switch the order of the mediums as mentioned. So we hit. 3,000 there. Um, I'm sorry if I lost you a little bit. So how you can do the heavy standing here, um, and then you can do the 2H on the ground, you do the 2H in the air as well. So it still launches up in the air the same way, as you can tell there. Um, and you can still follow in the same way, okay? So hopefully I didn't lose you there for that. I, I think that that was kind of um, apparent for it. So... All right. So, now, in terms of what your kind of limitations are, okay, for everything. So, we kind of have seen a glimpse of everything that we can kind of throw together. So, we've seen how you can knock people down. You can pick them up with a standing medium. Um, or, if for some reason you happen to mess up the order, just remember that you can always go into the 2H, okay? And you always go into the heavy because you can always go to a higher level move. Unless you jump cancel or super dash to follow. Um... Now you can get one jump from the ground. Now let's spice it up even more. You can get a jump in the air as well. So we can incorporate everything we've done, but then throw in two more hits by jump canceling in the air. So in the same way that you jump towards the opponent there or this, you can jump again. So let's kind of show that. So see how he got carried up even further um, and we kept like jabbing him over and over so we got three jabs in there one two boom there was three right there um and so you can get one jump in the air now the jump in the air can either be when you're lower before you launch him or it can be after you launch him okay so let's kind of show that again To see there how we kind of floated up again after we kind of got launched into the air so that is a way that you can um, also finish your combo and I keep things simple my strong suggestion is that you simply stick with the kind of like doubles so it's one one two two into the slide and not down and then you can go into a super move <clears throat> so this is the very very first combo I suggest that you learn And that's just so that you can get the sliding knot down. It's the most efficient thing. Now remember, you always have to launch them upwards. This will not give you that sliding knot down. And that's what we want to focus on. I want you all to practice good habits to start, okay? That's what I want you all to focus on to re from the very, very beginning so that you don't have to unlearn a bunch of stuff. Um, now, the combos that you're learning right now, they're not optimal, but we're focused more on you getting the concepts of the game for right now. We'll get more into optimization a bit later. So let's piece together more of what we've kind of learned, okay? The first thing we learned is combo. Easy combo, right? A little bit more intermediate is where we switch the mediums. Get that knot down there. So hopefully you are following along for that. So light, 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 medium, light, launch, light, light, light. Now let's incorporate this second jump where we can still follow the people. Now we're gonna do everything well before we launch them, okay? And this is gonna make it the easiest for you. Um, so we're going to do light, 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 medium, light, 
launch him. So we're at 32 now for our combo. So you're going to do the jump after the second light in the air. So it goes, I'll, I'll stop whenever you're supposed to actually jump, okay? Right there. After you do light, you kick him, do a light again, then you're supposed to jump. And then you hit light twice. Remember the third hit of the light is that is the slam. Oops, I didn't do it there, of course. One, two, three. So you can only do it twice before you hit him up in the air, because if you hit it three times, you're gonna send him back to the ground. So I'll show you what would happen. So that's what happens if you hit it three times, and then he ends up falling back to the ground. Oops, I'm sorry. So that's what happens if you only hit it twice and then go into the 2H to send him up. So let's do the extension one more time. Hopefully the inputs make sense on the left side. And this is something that I would consider an intermediate combo for you. Now, well, what would be the advanced combo for this? Well, the advanced combo is going to actually be adding in another jump heavy and you cancel that jump heavy into um, your jump. So in the same way that you can do the light, medium, light in the air, which is you can do a 2H, which is another launcher. Um, I'm sorry, not another launcher. It's the same launcher, this one. But since you already use the animation, which animation being this, do you see how there's that like kind of pause and then it shows them. And then same thing for this. Those are like kind of short animations for it. Um, you can use that move again, but jump cancel it. As mentioned, jump canceling allows you to kind of reset everything. So let's show you what that combo is supposed to look like. We're up to 3367 for that combo, okay? And just to show you why I'm saying Saiyans. There we go. So, sorry, Gohan's a little bit different because his first part of his light is two hits. And then that next part is um, the light Fist of Fury type thing. <laughs> So let's go back to Goku, okay? So how do you finish this combo? So the tricky part is going to be not the first part, because we already can do that, right? It's going to be right here, getting that 2H into that jump. So when you're in mid-air, if you mash auto combos into a jump, or I'm sorry, a jump into an auto combo, moves that typically wouldn't hit if you manually hit them uh in comparison to if you mash the same button like the light um your character will kind of move towards your opponent okay so let's kind of explain that to see how that moves to nets right so as mentioned the equivalent of me hitting light attack three times in the air is the equivalent of this this and this, which if you look on the left was me, my jump light, my jump medium, and my jump heavy. So let's try to do that manually. So you notice how Cell kind of falls off a little bit? I get the light, but then the medium doesn't connect. So let's show one more time. So he, he like floats up a little bit too much up. So... <clears throat> The difference isn't how far so floats, the difference is how your character moves towards him. So this is where when you jump cancel it, you actually want to mash the light and still do those same three hits, but they're just automatically done for you. So 
You notice how I'm finishing there? I do the 2H in the air after the first um, light, medium, light, which we did when we were lower. Um, and then you jump cancel that into the final hits there. Light, medium, light, 2H, jump cancel that into the auto combos. And you get the same full sliding knockdowns and everything. So this is the, your advanced combo. This will be eventually your standard combo in terms of what you're getting. Um, oh man, excuse me, sorry. And then eventually, um, to really end those combos, you can get supers at the very, very end. So we get the sliding knockdown into the super. Cool. Now, there are other things that you can cancel into. As mentioned, you can do um, special moves, being like your A and like your Kamehameha after your heavy attack or actually after your medium attack, but you still want to actually do that auto combo portion of it once you're kind of midder. You see how we still got two hits off, but then we did something else to kind of finish it there? So special attacks are another way that you can kind of finish off combos. And depending on what it does, it can give you a sliding knockdown still, which that does, which is the quarter circle forward. We can show them the special moves. And that is your dragon flash fist. And you can do that on the ground. And that's all that we're doing to finish it. The medium version of the attack is going to be the fastest. I'm sorry, medium. I really said that. The light version is the fastest. Medium version is second fastest. And then your heavy can be the fastest, but it will consume one key gauge. You look right here, and you'll see that that's going to drop from three to two. Which that is noted by what it says up there. It says B version consumes one key gauge. Um, and then of course your supers, which are like your Kamehameha's and your Big Bangs and everything like that. If you're familiar with the series, all of that stuff ends up consuming one as well. Um, so hopefully this helped explain things in terms of how launches work, um, how many jumps you get and like what your limitations are. So keep in mind, hey, did I already jump mid combo? If I can, then that means I can't jump again. Let me finish it with like the light, light, light after the super dash. Um, so for example, if you're like this, and then you're like, oh, wait, I can get another jump in, right? Well, no, because you already used it when you were down low. Um, but if you save that, then you're like, ah, I can still get my jump in. And boom, there you go. Um, but I guess that's pretty much the main things that I wanted to kind of go over more is the whole way that launches work, how you progress through attacks, unless it's, you cancel with a jump. Uh, jumps do allow you to kind of reset that whole thing where you can go into the light mediums mediums to launch, meaning this, and then you go back to light because you jump to cancel and reset yourself. Um, and then same thing for super dash as far as for resetting that, as long as that you get the actual like launch animation and everything. So I think I did a little bit better job of explaining this. I definitely cut the time down. Um, so please, please, please let me know if this hopefully helped you out to understand how things work a little bit more uh, we will get more into or what i'm planning on doing next is probably going to be more team compositions uh what to focus on and kind of how to break things down but make sure that you practice this in training mode if you want to do that i would strongly suggest doing tutorial try to stick with goku if you can for as much as you can um but you can do some variations of this combo with almost anybody it's just that certain people's launchers will send you will send them forward but Try to keep things as simple as possible. If you do story mode, which I strongly suggest you do just to get more familiar with the moves, if they don't work perfectly for these types of combos, just try to understand why that is um, and, and just work on the auto combos. Auto combos are okay in terms of start off, but we, we want to start working you out of that slowly but surely. Um, but thanks for tuning on in and I'll see you guys in the next video.